Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of the This Is Gonna Hurt podcast with Jay Gordon Duncan. And if you're wondering why the J, the answer is I'm not a bagpipe player. And if that joke doesn't make any sense, I encourage you to check out episode zero, where I explain that joke, as well as the purpose of the This Is Gonna Hurt podcast, where we talk about faith, family, fitness, finances, and sometimes fun. Well, friends, thank you so much. You continue to just amaze me. Last week, we looked at the episode where I shared my experience on the uh, my 50K, uh, my Dogger and Trail 50K, but Arsenal events. Uh, and I appreciate your feedback and your questions. You guys have been with me all week on this. I've shared pictures. Even today, I created a reel from some of the content that was created from there. So thank you so much. I know that today I'm recording this on Saturday, one week later, and I went for um, an eight and a half mile run today. And even today, I was thinking about it. it. It's going to be one of those experiences that just stays with me for the rest of my life. Uh, it was just that amazing. Um, people have asked me about it. And when they say, how did it go? I just say, it was spiritual. Like, it really was. It took me to a place that I had never been in terms of pushing myself. And I'm not going to redo the whole episode here, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I promised you last week that I had an episode from the studio. And you can see with this background that we're not there. That studio is still, that, excuse me, that episode is still being produced. My wonderful producer, Shane Dell, um, had some things going on. And we're just going to delay that another week. I'm very excited about it. I'm ready for it to come out. It's 95% done. Hopefully next week, uh, that's what you'll be experiencing. But this week on the podcast, I want to talk about podcasts. Isn't that amazing? A, a podcast about podcasts. Because I've been touring around with the idea of starting an additional podcast, and I want your feedback. Now, this is not the first time I've done it. Um, I have started other podcasts before, and I really haven't promoted them very well. Um, and so what I want to do is kind of share with you my history of podcasting. Then I want to tell you what's behind my thoughts, and then I want to get your feedback. And when I share with you the podcast I am thinking about, you might be surprised. Um, so let me let me put that up. I'm at home, and so I'm just uh, just chilling, having a good conversation with my friends. So this podcast has been going for five years and five months, almost five and a half years. That's amazing. You know, four hundred and seventy some episodes. There was at one point in time, I was doing three episodes a week. I would do my regular podcast on Monday. On Wednesdays, I would post my sermons. And then on Fridays, I would do a five-minute Friday. And um, when things got busier, I, I just went back to one episode a week. And I think about sometimes reviving that five-minute Friday, but I, I just haven't taken it up yet. I'm just the consistency of putting out good contents on Monday is what I'm focused on right now. And so we just keep chugging along. I mean, I can't wait to get to, um, you know, episode 500, which is not that far away. Uh, and you guys have hung in there. Thank you so, so much. Um, now, I've had, by my count, four or five other podcasts. Isn't that crazy? Uh, you know, because when I hear the stat that 97 percent of podcasts don't make it past three episodes, I'm like, what? Uh, but then I look, I've got scattered uh, podcasts um, in my history. They made them past made it past three episodes, uh, but um, they're out there. Now, the easiest one is back when I was a preacher, the church had a podcast and essentially all they would do is upload my sermon. So not that took no work on my part. I had nothing to do with it. It just showed up on Mondays. I appreciated the people who cut it and uploaded it and all those things. Um, wouldn't necessarily call that my podcast, but I mean, listen, I put out, uh, you know, there were 50, some 52 episodes of that thing a year and 48 of them were mine. Um, so, and then I would reshare those episodes, of course, on my podcast, but in terms of like me producing original content, um, there's at least four other times that I have undertaken podcasts. Um, and some of them are still out there. I'm actually making a note to myself. Now, uh, a couple of years ago, Emma was on the show all the time. Uh, my daughter, Emma, and she would come on and we would talk movies and pop culture and it was fun. And we finally launched our own episode, our own podcast. 
and it was called You're Entitled to Your Opinion. Now, that podcast is still out there. Emma drew the design for it. I love it. She actually used the Kiss font, uh, the rock band Kiss. It was called You're Entitled to Your Opinion, and we just did um, pop culture. But that came to an end uh, as Emma became more busy with school, and I became more busy. Uh, the last episode came out of March last year where we reviewed – the Batman, the the most recent Batman uh, movie. And, uh, you know, we had a blast with it. And I'd love to get back to it one day. I mentioned to her today, and I don't know if she wants to get back to it. If she ever says, hey, let's record an episode, I am on board. Um, but essentially, she was on the show more than a dozen times. She was on the um, This Is Gonna Hurt podcast, um, you know, more than a dozen times. And I think uh, You're Entitled to Your Opinion has about eight episodes out there, about eight episodes. So we gave that shot for a little while. I had a very brief podcast focused on churches called Church Training Partners, um, because I have a business uh, of coaching and consulting with churches called Church Training Partners. And it put out episodes for a while, very few, only about five. Um, it didn't have its good direction and good sense. Uh, those are still out there. And uh, I again, um, I, I was just producing too much content at one time without a lot of focus in a direction. Um, I had briefly a, an eye doctor podcast, which I can't find out there anywhere. I think it was called ProSite Success, same kind of thing, 8, 10 episodes, can't find it anywhere. And then the briefest was a podcast on men's adventure novels. Now, that was a um, that was a a. a, a partnership with a buddy of mine and we were reading novels uh, written in the 70s 80s these 180 page novels like Mac Bolan Executioner and that kind of thing and that one was very brief I can't find that one either I don't know where that one's gone um, so but right now of course this is going to hurt is out there uh, you're entitled to your opinion is out there that's the one that had the, probably the most steam uh, church training partners is still out there um and, and I don't, I, like I said, I can't find Prosize Success or the Man of Venture novels. Uh, those, those are just gone. Uh, so it's been something I, I've just done. And you know what? All along, I've told myself, do the podcast you want to do. And if people want to follow it, they will. And if they enjoy it, they will. But this has never been something at all that I've ever pandered to anyone. It's just been my venue to um, share my thoughts and my observations. And when I get an opportunity and I get for my butt, actually interview somebody. Well, lately, though, I've been dreaming about starting another podcast um, with the train for the 50K. I took in more podcasts than I ever did because I did a ton of eight milers. I did a ton of 13 milers and a ton of 20 milers. Um, I spent, you know, I was doing 60 to 70 mile weeks running 60 or 70 miles. And I just had a ton of time to fill. And so I was listening to a lot of podcasts and it got me thinking about creating another one. Um, but I thought, what? I mean, if I wanted to do something uh, in the spiritual realm, I could just restart church training partners. And if I wanted to, I mean, if, I'd love to do something with Emma again and just go back to your entitled to your opinion. If I wanted to go into the eye care realm, a realm I know a lot about, I would just resurrect ProSide Success. And I'm like, what, what could I do? And then uh, as I'm, and I, guys, I'm going to really ask for your opinion here um, because I just, I, I want to know what your thoughts are on this. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it if I want to do it or not, but I really would like your thoughts on it. But I thought, man, if you're going to do another podcast, make it fun, make it fun. Uh, just do one that, that doesn't, you know, and I think this one is fun, but I deal with serious issues here. Um, at times. And I thought, no, if you're going to do one, do one that's just an absolute blast. No pressure whatsoever. Well, uh, I used to call my guilty pleasure. I don't call it a guilty pleasure anymore. Uh, any of you who've ever been around me or have listened to the show, you know that my favorite band in the world is Kiss. The rock band Kiss. You know, the makeup. If you don't know who they are, the makeup, the whole deal. Been listening to them since 1976, 1977. Uh, I've seen him in concerts six or seven times. I've been with uh, my, my brother, Paul. I've been with uh, my family. You know, I've been with friends. I mean, I, I, they just, some would call it a guilty pleasure. Just a fun, they're just a fun band to me. They got some terrible songs out there. They got some wonderful songs out there. And uh, Gene Simmons's book, 
uh, kiss and make up helped me start my first consulting company. I've told that story before. Uh, I'd love to tell him that one day. And on every Saturday when I go for my long run, I listen to a podcast called the Shout It Out Loud cast. It is two buddies who grew up listening to Kiss, and that's all they talk about. And their episodes sometimes are almost three hours long. And they'll do reviews and that kind of thing. And before them, I listened to another Kiss podcast called Three Sides of the Coin, which is a play of a song they have called Two Sides of a Coin, but there were three people doing the podcast. Well, these two podcasts have become so popular. Other Kiss podcasts have sprung up all over the place. There is uh, Podcast Rock City, which is a great name of a podcast because one of Kiss's most famous songs is um detroit rock city and then there's one called pot of thunder another great name because uh, kiss has a song called god of thunder and um uh, three coins one of those guys in on the show actually worked with kiss so he's got some great insight um shout out loudcast does reviews they interview people in the camp um you know they've branched off and they're doing other podcasts now album review crews zeppelin chronicles dorm damage they've really become successful um and pot of thunder started off by just reviewing every kiss song ever recorded which is amazing when you've got 20 plus albums and i thought well if i did something just for fun i'd want to kiss podcast and i know that there's a ton of people who watch and listen to this is going to hurt that don't care one single thing about kiss but i just thought if i'm going to do this it'll be fun and i like the format of pot of thunder and what they do they've got this song generator and they they digitally you know do, 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 and then they pick a song and then they review that song and i thought well that's been done before i don't want to do that again but i really like the idea of reviewing all of the kiss songs i mean that'll give you content for five years if you want to uh, undertake it and one thing about it is i know if i'm going to make this new podcast i'm going to commit to it so here's the format i'm playing with and this is where i want your feedback what i'd like to do is i'm going to sit down and i'm not going to share this with you i'm going to sit down and in chronological order of their 20 some albums i'm going to write down when i first experienced each album so that means i don't start with their first album um, from 73 I start with the first one that I ever experienced and looking at their discography, I can figure out the order of which I listened to those albums and uh, can share where I was during that time frame. And then I thought, uh, OK, um, the first album I ever experienced, then we're just going to go through those songs in order. And then the next project, we're like, OK, the next album I experienced was this. But what I want to do is I don't want to review those songs solo. I really don't. I want to do this with guests. And I do not care one bit if people like Kiss or know the song. In fact, I think it would be a blast to bring people on who know nothing about Kiss and hear a song and give their experience. And so that would give me a chance to have hundreds of guests on here. And so they might know, like you could figure out if I'm doing the third song on their album Destroyer, that you're going to know the next song, what it would be. But a lot of folks would have no concept whatsoever and just come into it. And you know what? We'd play the song in the background and then we'd stop it and review it. And I'd give some fun. Uh, I'd give some details. I'd give some where I've been in my experience in my life and just do something fun. And then the other thought is how often would it come out? So right now, this is going to hurt. It comes out every Monday. Well, I can't guarantee how often I'm going to have a guest. I might have two, three episodes in one week, and then I might go two weeks out. It all comes down to when I can get people on a Zoom and or in person and listen to a song. So it might come out, you know, uh, I mean, again, I, I don't want this to be a pressure thing. I don't want it to be Thursday night and I'm like, oh, no, I don't have a guest to listen to a song. I want it to, to find its its own rhythm. And it'd be fun. I can have strangers on here. I'm, I'm a member of some Facebook groups and they might be like, hey, can I come on? So that's what I'm touring around with. I'm touring around with a completely fun podcast about something I know way too much about, which is the band Kiss. I would review every song they ever put on the album in the order in which I experienced them and bring on guests to listen to the song. 
and get their reaction to the song. And again, they can know something about Kiss, not know something about Kiss. They can know me or not know me. Um, I just think it would be fun. So what I'm asking for is your feedback. This one is not business-based. It's not spiritual-based. I just am thinking about starting something that's fun. And I think I would have a blast and I would laugh. And I'm already thinking of people that would be on the show. So guys, I, if I do this, I'm going to commit to it. I mean, all 20 plus albums, I'm going to do every single song they've ever done. Um, it's going to be a couple of year project, but it would, should be fun. It should be. I know that when Emma and I were working on You're Entitled to Your Opinion, we had so much fun doing that. We laughed so much doing that. I think Church Training Partners and the ProSite Success were a little too serious, and I think I could address that if I ever revive that. Um, I have a blast doing this show, but sometimes we're dealing with uh, uh, weighty issues or we're dealing with issues like, hey, here's how you make money, which you've got to have a manner of seriousness about. I'm just thinking about starting one that would be absolute fun, and I need your feedback. So, again, excuse me, here's the premise. Um, it's going to be based on the band Kiss. Um, I want to review every song they've ever recorded on a studio album. Um, it's going to start chronologically with how I experienced them. So it's not going to be chronologically in how they were um, re uh, released. And then I'm going to bring on a guest and we're just going to go through the song, song one on this album, song two on this album, and get their reaction to it. And I'll share all the nerd to my know with it. And I'm sure I'll learn a lot more. So the good thing is, guys, uh, there's an entire community of people online who love this stuff. I hope it'll be fun to them, but I think it'd just be fun for me. Um, Amy tells me all the time, what are you going to do with all the knowledge in your head? And I need to figure out something to do with it. So that's my thought. I want your feedback. Please, guys, message me, talk to me on Facebook, uh, uh, text me, whatever the case may be. Let me know what you think about this idea. And I'm going to make the decision one way or the other, but I really would like some thoughts and some feedback on it. Um, next week, guys, I really hope that episode that we recorded in the studio gets in your hands. And also, real quick, um, uh, I do have something to promote. Um, I am hosting a 30, uh, excuse me, a uh, marketing mindset transformation seminar, a marketing mindset transformation. The idea is come to the seminar and learn the principles that I used mentally to transform the way I market. If you'd like to go more, here's the podcast. I mean, excuse me, the URL. Go to go dot capitalize dot biz forward slash mindset i'm going to put it in the show notes but if you want to learn more and you'd like to come to the seminar it is go dot capitalize dot biz forward slash mindset i'd love to see you all guys there and i can't wait to see you again next week thanks so much Bye bye